at first when we when I first got involved with the group we were like 10 people uh, and we used to just cry a lot because you know we're all undocumented and we would get together and we just cry and cry and cry because we were so hurt by the situation right like this uh, feeling overwhelming feeling that doesn't matter how much you try there is nothing there's this glass ceiling that you, when you look up, you know, you can see the sky, but you can't get through, you know, and that's your papers and and you just don't don't have a way to fix it. So I finally arrived in, in Miami and uh, and I just remember stepping outside of the plane, right? And feeling like, wow, you know, I'm in a different country. That was the first time I had ever been outside of Brazil. And, you know, mind you, I used to be a very, very low-income person over there. Barely had, sometimes not even money to eat. So I arrived here uh, at my sister's house. Uh, and she sat me down, my sister, and said, hey, Felipe, uh, I just wanted to tell you that this is the land that any dream you have may come true. My personal value, right, about um, why education is so important for me, it wasn't the only because uh, it was such a big barrier in my life, but because of my own mother, right, because uh, when she was ra she was raised in the countryside and she was only able to finish her second grade education. So what she always tell me was, uh, Felipe, the way out of poverty is through education. There's no other way. I don't care what you do, you have to go to school. So, you know, the, when I got involved, like when I felt like, you know, oh my God, this is so unfair, you know, whatever, people all over the world can go to school. The first cause I took was building schools in Africa. <laughs> And then because I was so involved, you know, with school, whatever, um, I also got involved with student government, student government, right? So first I was a senator in the in student government. Then um, I decided that I wanted to run for president of SGA. So I did, you know, I ran and I won. So I became a, a student government president. Then I became the board of trustees representative, which meant that Miami-Dade College is the biggest college in the United States. It has six, 160,000 students. So I was representing all these people and I had no papers. The Florida Immigrant Coalition has a youth component called Students Working for Equal Rights. So he came, he met with me, and, and then he said, hey Felipe, I." I can't promise you that I can get you a scholarship. I cannot promise you that you know that you're going to get your papers if you get involved. Those things I cannot promise you. But one thing I can promise you is I can introduce you to other young people like you who are who are just as willing as you are to make a difference. And that's that's what I that's what I can do. And together we can start trying to change laws. <laughs> 